The Church on the Spilled Blood was constructed on the spot where Emperor Alexander II was assassinated in 1881. That's how it got its name. His successor, his son Alexander III, decided to commemorate his father's memory and to build a new church. And in 24 years, the church was already built. So in 1907, when uh, the son of Alexander III, Nicholas II, was in charge of all of Russia. It's in Neo-Russian style, so these onion domes, uh, this space inside, a lot of uh, mosaics, which are not so typical to the Russian churches, but nevertheless, there are, there are about 7,000 square meters of mosaic inside, so this is the, I think, number one in Europe, maybe, number one in the world for the space of all mosaics. The Church on the Spillblood is probably the most photographed building in St. Petersburg and certainly one of the most famous ones. With its colorful domes, it's an absolutely unique structure, not only for St. Petersburg, but for Russia in general. The style is somewhat different, it's like a reverse side. So uh, if you apply the Roman style, you, ne uh, you need to apply a, a different shades of color. So it's, uh, it's a lot of difficult work, it's a long work, and the Zad didn't have so much time, so it was decided to experiment, but uh, it was much faster to construct and to make all these mosaics. <laughs> 